I know of some gentlemen who <clears throat> they won't marry or seriously date the ladies that will meet their most uninhibited uh, desires. It's yes, almost no. like they put their wives on a particular pedestal, oh, first of all, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. And so it's like, no, I want to do this, but I don't want my wife yeah. to do this. Yeah, right? I think that's crazy. I, I think yeah. it's absolutely crazy. I do too. Because yeah. then, then you're left desiring something once you get married. You're left desiring something that is not being fulfilled in your marriage. Absolutely. So, I think it's a setup for infidelity, yeah. personally. But I, but I do know some men. That I do too. But here's a question, though. When do you talk about those things? First date. Like, first date. <laughs> I need to know. Mel, Mel's like, yeah, I like clothes pins. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, look, uh, before I take you home, I need to, I need to stop by the house and show you this closet. Yeah. And, uh, and if, and if and if you look in this closet and you don't run, then I think I think we have a chance. You're like, I'm gonna hit this button and just like slide that. <laughs> right, I'm thinking of the dungeon. All, <laughs> I'm, all I'm saying, and to bring it back to task, oh, he's maybe, bringing it back to maybe right not now. the first date, but what I am saying is, <laughs> at Glenn's age, she ain't got a whole lot of time in front of her. <laughs>